Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad you guys came back today for my January favorites video. Uh, today was actually a really rainy day here and so I just kind of scrunched my hair and I'm just kind of getting through the day. I've been sick and but I still wanted to get a video out to you guys because I just feel like it's been too long. So I wanted to show you all some of my favorites that I've been kind of going to this month and let you know what I thought of them. My first favorite is this conditioning cream gel. It's by Garnier Fructis, if you can see. It's a sculpting conditioning gel. And I love this better than regular gel. Um, I looked up, I really wanted to try this product called um, Bounce Curls, but it was really expensive and you had to order it. So I looked up what that product was and it was conditioning cream gel. So I literally went to Walmart and grabbed the first one that I saw. I have been loving this ever since though. It really takes down the frizz when you have like curl and wave and I don't have much I would say curl I have more wave than anything else but it really takes down the frizz um, today I didn't have a lot left as you can tell so it's not the best but it's been one of my favorites and if you make your hair curly or need something that you use gel to kind of get frizz and flyaways down this is a really really good alternative my other fave is another hair care product it's actually a dry shampoo and it's by this company called orb and it's gold lust dry shampoo it was actually a sample that i got in my ipsy sample i want to say in the month of december but i love this now I'm a huge fan of dry shampoo anyway because um, if I don't wash my hair every day it just looks greasy and life problems but <laughs> um, so I'm a huge fan of dry shampoo just to begin with but this one was it just works really well it was easy to use easy to spray um, just soaked up any and all dirt oil grease really really fast and it looked like I had washed my hair and blue dry it so it's on my faves and I'm gonna go buy a full size I think that I've shown this to you guys before but it's miracle 10 and it's a leave-in conditioner spray um, I usually put this on my hair when it's wet when I get out of the shower and it is supposed to detangle control frizz um, prevent split ends um, it kind of creates like a seal and a silkiness and let me tell you I've been using this for at least 10 years I love this stuff cannot go a day without it it's amazing it really is miracle stuff my next fave is a really cute little guy so if you can see it's like this scrubbing pad So this is actually a face scrubber and it's kind of to be in place of like a wash rag that you would use to exfoliate your face. I have a huge problem with rosacea, dry skin, um, I can't get enough moisturizer to save my life and I found these, they're called little scrubbers, they were on an end cap at Walmart and they have this little suction cup on the back, so then you can suction cup it to your shower. I love these. So much better than wash rags. I, so honestly, I have to take a new clean wash rag in every time I wash my face, which sounds normal, I guess you would say, but for some reason, I always forget them, and I'm like rushing out of the shower, grabbing a washcloth, and running back in my shower. So these little scrubbing, guys have been a lifesaver and the cool thing is because it's like a rubber it's a cleanable so I can just clean it out let it air dry and I'm good to go I absolutely can't leave like a wash rag in there and even like hang dry it and use it again like I will just get major 
major breakouts like right on my cheeks and I don't know if that's a rosacea thing or what so these little scrubbies have been a lifesaver my other fave is actually a moisturizer and you guys know that I'm super picky about moisturizers because I have such dry skin and a hard time with rosacea I got this little sample of Clinique uh, Turnaround Daytime Revitalizing Moisturizer. So let me show you guys a close-up. And hopefully it focuses. So this little stuff I got as a sample. And whenever I run out of moisturizer, which I do all the time, I use this instead. It really worked well for me. It didn't work as well as my regular confidence cream from It Cosmetics, but in a pinch this will do and it didn't burn my skin. My next fave is a body spray. I love a good body spray. Let me tell you, I don't know if it's nostalgic from high school or what, but I love a body spray. This one is from Victoria's Secret and it's called Crush. I have just recently got into the body sprays at Victoria's Secret. I usually do um, like a Bath and Body Works spray, but I really liked these and I got a really good sale. And this crush has been my fave for weeks now. And I'm just loving it every time I leave. It has like kind of a, a clean, fresh scent, but it also has kind of this perfume nice scent too. So it sounds crazy, I know. I Smells are so hard for me to describe, but this one is worth going in and spraying in Victoria's Secret to see if you like it. It's called Crush. Cal Gone, take me away. This is great because it's almost, has the consistency of sand. So when you take a bath, I just end up turning the bath on and pouring this in and you can always just push the flap, pouring this in, and it's fine. And let me tell you, when you come home from work, or you just had a hard day, or you're not feeling that well, this really gets into your muscles and really helps you relax. And I know there's lots of like bath bombs that are busy and things like that, but this actually helps you helps your muscles relax or at least it does to mine so for a two to three dollar fix this is really good this was actually something that my mom used and later on in life I ended up just continually buying it's better than bubble bath not because of the bubble factor because it does not bubble up or anything like that but it truly gets in to your muscles helps you really relax and when they say like take me away in the commercials about Calgon I really think it's a good product for the price so those were my January favorites I know there was quite a few but I just couldn't decide so I wanted to show you guys everything that I had been continually using I have been taking a ton of baths this winter and I've been dealing a lot with dry skin and really testing out lots of moisturizers you know your hair always goes crazy in the winter and it's raining so I have just been testing a lot of different stuff that I wouldn't normally test out thank you so much for coming over today and hanging out and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications and I will see you all again bye